I am curious is someone more signing. Party? Progressive with Congress, PYC. PYC. I am the executive youth governor of this state. I am contesting for Nigerian youth president. I am once an out of assembly aspirant and also a councillorship aspirant from my local government either. A one time senior special assistant to the local government chairman on project monitoring. I am here to present to you my manifesto. The vision of my manifesto, sir. As a young people, we demand a world where we are empowered to lead a happy, inclusive and healthy life, free from any forms of discrimination and violence, where our rights, our choices and our bodies are respected and where we can realize our full potentials to transform our nations and create a sustainable change. Mission of the manifesto and solution. Restructuring Nigeria, evaluating the regional system and present evaluation of the regional system, the present and the way forward. If I may say, when we say restructuring, it's as good as reuniting Nigeria. This program is part of the restructuring, bringing people from different parts of the state. Coming, we coming together from different parts of the state is part of the restructuring. One, fairness in appointment is part of the restructuring. Two, the security aspects, the insecurity aspect of the nation. One, when we empower the local securities, like the community police, the local hunters, and the vigilantes, through the state government, we can counter a lot of insecurity within our communities because they are the ones who know who is who within their communities. Two, we can, I will advise the government because I am contesting for the youth president. My advice is simple. If the governor, the governor, sorry, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria can be reshuffling the chief of army staff or chief of Air Force chief of Nava staff every year then then employ more of the security personnel into different the security agencies. It will help us in the, the aspect of insecurity. Buying of more technology becomes a lot more. Agri. Agriculture is the engine of a nation's economic growth and the largest employ, employment. And we have we commit the highest priority to agriculture, uh, agricultural growth increase the farmer's income and rural development, increase public investment in agriculture and rural development, take steps to enhance the profitability, of profitability in agriculture, the cost of production, cheaper agriculture, impute and credit introducing latest technologies for farming and high yielding seeds. Economy. Moving Nigeria from consumption to production. All sectors dominated by youth are exceptionally well. Nigeria is one of the, is one of the most naturally blessed countries in Africa, and this is necess and this necess necessitates the policies. Policies must be based on the jo uh, judicious mix of experience of energy and be youth inclusive, so that youth are an integral part of the development processes. We commit to review and reverse policies to seek participation of youth in decision-making and nation-building processes and actively get the youth to participate in decision-making bodies. We initiate nationwide constituency, constituency level incubation and accelerator program for encouraging innovation and entrepreneurship. When we talk about our infrastructure, our industries, we talk about refineries. If you look at the cost of petrol today in the country, it's because we are not refining our oils in the country. We take it out to refine, then why we transport it back? 
People can set up all our refineries in the country. I believe the cost of fuel will reduce. That is one. When you talk of the raw materials we have in the country, when you go to Koki, we have a lot of mineral resources which are things we can put in order to help us boost our economy of nation. If we can, if we go to Bede, if we go to Plateau State today, we have something called a soda ash. When put together, it can generate it can generate more than what crude oil is generating for the nations today. If Nigeria can be producing a soda ash today in the country, believe me, at least in the day, there's no how we have less than seven trillion naira from soda ash producing the processes. Then social media regulation. Social media regulation has caused more than harm to our Nigerian youth, especially the average ones. The information we got from social media, uh, social media network, most of them are fake. They are not real. One, most of our most of our peer groups or youth today, they they, they, they they rely on social media news than uh, national elections, uh, national network news, which is very harmful for the which is very harmful for consumption. Aside that. Many of our many, many of Nigerian youth today they are not doing research because of social media use, uh, usage. They spend 80-90 percent of their time on social media because that is where they get some some uh, unconsumable uh, information from. So if we can regulate our social media usage in the country, it will help the country a lot. Then the leadership of this party, Progressive Youth Congress. We will ensure and will refuse to merely be a, to merely be observers of policy and leadership and demand to be meaningful and engaged and recognized and are recognized as active decision makers. We are not we will not be dominated to a quota. Youth leadership must be valued and supported by investment and policy. We must create youth friendly environment through training, opportunities, policies and financial investment where young people are where young people can strive. We call on all stakeholders to engage with us in a meaningful and respectful manner, sharing knowledge, experience and constructive criticism as active partners, understanding that we share equal rights and responsibilities. We need we need to make more we need to make a more concerted effort to build relationships based on mutual support and respect between young people across the globe, foster knowledge and foster knowledge, sharing and stand in solidarity on issues directly affecting us. Thank you and God bless you. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Yes. Because you may be vulnerable, right? Because you say you once contested for as of assembly and say as of assembly and yes, sir. You spoke about restructuring Nigeria. Yes, sir. You spoke about evaluating the recreational system, right? Yes, sir. I hope I'm right. And you spoke about the economy yes, and the social media revolution. Yes, sir. My concern is on the security aspect. If elected as a president, What do you, due to the insecurity we find ourselves in Nigeria, how do you intend tackling the insecurity in Nigeria, if elected as president? Thank you for the wonderful question, sir. If elected as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria or the president, one, I'll employ more personnel, security personnel, I'll buy more ammunition, I'll deploy more technologies, I'll empower the local hunters, the community policing and the vigilantes, and I'll grant autonomy to police and all other security agencies. Are you a computer scientist? No, sir. So how do you intend regulating? You see, social media has maybe one way or the other, positively or negatively, affected the lives of people in one way or the other, like I said. What are the contents or what are the kind of content on the social media do you intend to create? 
so that it won't affect your government if elected as a person. Thank you for the word of questions again. Well, um, the issue of regulating social media, we have um, what we call Galazi Bone, okay. which uh, have the whole Nigerian data mm. in Abuja. Mm. We can easily regulate our social media usage, most especially when they drop fake news, we delete them on our own, or will not allow them to post it. The moment you drop it, since it's a fake news, it will not be posted. Because if you go to some pages on social media like Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, if you post something in some particular groups or pages, you will not be allowed to post because it is not welcome in that particular group. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Your questions. Thank you very much, Mr. QS. Is more signing, right? Yes, All right. Thank you very much, and I hope I love your composure, your presentation. But I pray you keep the spirit, so that we'll see how we can move to the next stage. Thank you very much. Sir. I'm good. Thank you, man.